Closed extension 3, or the, the, the third form of closed extension, differs from closed extension 1 and closed extension 2. In closed extension 1, you just apply flexion of one limb from position of supine. This is the starting position. And the stimulus is moving the extended limb in flexion position. The response will be extension of the flexed limb. In the second form of closed extension 2, we apply just tabbing on the extended limb, on the medial side of the extended leg. The response happens in the form of adduction, internal rotation, and the blunter flexion of the other limb. Okay? Let's talk about the third form. The third form, you just squeeze the uh, heel of the extended limb, and the response happens in the form of uh, the infant want to push the examiner hand. He uh, flex and abduct the uh, other limb and followed by extension and the blunter flexion as he push the, the hand or the hand of the stimulation. Okay, uh, again. The stimulus of the cross, cross extension 3 just apply squeeze at the heel of the extended limb. The response comes with flexion, abduction of the hip, followed by extension, adduction with blunter flexion, like he push the examiner hand away from his feet. The failure of the reflex to happens may indicate a sensory motor delay or sensory motor problem. This may due to paralysis of some muscles or uh, sensory loss at the sole of the foot that may cause negative response.